Hot Wheels unleashed is an amazing representation of the toy cars. Milestone has done a tremendous job into making this game an amazing experience. I can even call it the best Hot Wheels game yet. What comes first to the eye are the graphics. The cars are so well made that each plastic or metal part is accurately reproduced. Cars even have the writing on the bottom. And all of this makes you feel like you are driving toy cars, not real cars. Even if cars make engine sounds. And even the controls feel like you are driving a toy car. And it's nice that each car has different stats, which you can also upgrade. And the variety in stats adds more gameplay hours. There are cars that are speedy but don't handle that well. There are cars that tip over easily. And even this hot dog car that because of its sharp front can dig under vehicles. Track details are on point, not only that tracks look visually pleasing, but looking closer you can see even tiny details that make you appreciate the developers even more. Parts that make up the tracks have air bubbles for example, other parts look like plastic. There are obstacles like in the toy series. One gripe I have with the tracks though is that you get only 5 environments. Sure, there are plenty of variations in track designs in those environments, but there were moments where the game felt repetitive because of this. Like driving on the same racetrack until a new variation appears. Also, I appreciate that tracks don't remain simple like in the first race you did. No, the more you progress, the wackier, crazier and complexer the tracks become. And there are even shortcuts to be found. The game also is for everyone, if you put it on easy, kids and casual players will like it. If you put it on medium, you'll get a fair challenge and hard is hard. The career is a board from early select races, there is no story in the game, there are 60 cars in the game and here at cars I have a big complaint. Let's say you saw someone play Hot Wheels Unleashed on the internet and saw that the game has the DeLorean from Back to the Future. You're paying 50 bucks for the game and hope to get the DeLorean as soon as possible. Well, let me burst your bubble. You buy cars with loot boxes. Yup, your precious in-game credits goes on mystery boxes. And from time to time some random cars get selected in another menu if you want to pay for something you see beforehand. I find this system stupid. If you want to buy the Batmobile first hand in the game, give me the price and let me save up to buy the car I want. I don't want to pray to get the car I want from random mystery boxes. I know that you can resell the cars you have, but just name your price. Also if you have duplicates, you can dismantle cars to get credits to upgrade. And you can't even select multiple cars at once. You have to select each car, keep the button pressed and repeat the process for the hundreds of duplicates you're gonna get for sure from the blind boxes. This is my biggest complaint of the game. The game also has a track builder and it's nice that the track builder gives you plenty of options and I like that you can customize the cars in the game and even the decoration materials you get as rewards for your basement give more purpose to the game. The game also has multiplayer, both online and split screen which is rare these days and you can also race on tracks made by other players which extends the replay value of the game. And even if the game has the problem with the buying of cars and the tracks can feel repetitive, the gameplay mechanics are so good that you'll still love the game. The controls are easy to pick up and always satisfying, so all in all, I consider this game the best Hot Wheels game yet. Sure, it has some inconveniences, but the graphics and the gameplay are top notch and will provide you hours of fun for sure.